Hey guys, this is Manak, your Swill Bro. So today we will design a building in SAP 2000. So this is the third lecture on SAP 2000. First of all, we'll go to new model, file and new model, and then a window will pop up. So we'll start by designing a simple frame today. Select the units, the SI units, and select your country. And then we'll select uh, your 3D frames. So I'll just untick the distance because I'll apply it myself. Open frame building, number of stories, make this, uh, let's make this uh, four, okay? Or let's take it three. And then number of base, three, number of base in the Y direction, let's take it three. And then the bay width, let's do it four. And then this also, Y direction also four. And then we'll use this custom grid data. And then, in the z direction okay so this this particular story ordinate will change this to let's say uh one point nine okay so one point nine and then we'll add c to one point nine then it is four point nine and then 7.9. So the distance, this will be the you know foundation level, this will be the length level. Door to door height is three meters, but for the distance for um, of the length level to the foundation level is 1.9 meters, which includes the foundation depth and the plinth height. So just to do this, we did this and click on OK. And after that, we'll define some materials for the beams and columns. We'll add new property. Just go here. Uh, concrete and then rectangular and then first of all let's do for the beam beam 250 cross 350 and here this 250 cross 350 and the materials also let's define some materials add new material select your country and select the concrete and then m25 and we'll add another material for the rebar india this is rebar, reinforcement bar, 550. Okay. So now we'll change this. We have 25 and concrete reinforcement. This is for the beam. 550 beam. And this one will do 35 minimum to just keep the minimum cover as 25. So 35 from the end to center of the reinforcement. So anyway, after 20 mm bar, 25 mm cover will be there. So click on OK. So this is done and then click on OK. So once uh, this is done, I will add copy of this property and this one will be for the column. So C, let's do columns of 400 cross 400. And this one will do 0.4. This one also 0.4. M25, concrete reinforcement, this time columns. Okay, select the columns here. And then reinforcement check design reinforcement to be checked reinforcement to be designed so we can select checked click on OK and then click on OK also and and then now okay, reinforcement is this make this design okay do it design because we want to design whatever accordingly okay so once this is done click on OK so click on OK. So now for the beams B and columns C. So this is done. And then we click on OK. So the frame has been defined, you can see. So let's apply the restraints first. Select go to view and click on set uh, 3D view. So do this uh, zero and do this also zero. Click on apply. And after that, select all the these points. Okay. And after all these points are selected, and uh, just uh, go to assign joint restraints fix support and click on apply you can also do this in the 2d view as well same thing okay now if you just uh, in the 3d view just select the 3d view and then you just click here 3d then it will by default come here okay so these beams and columns are defined now let's go uh, in the 2d view xy plane above beams are defined in this plane there will be no slab since this is the plane level Go to the next thing. This is the next, that is the first pole level. So we'll define some slabs. So let's see what are the things which you need to define. Materials have been defined, section properties, frame sections already has been defined. So now we define the area sections. 
area sections we can define here. Okay, add new section or just uh, click on okay. Let's click on add new section since the new sections are there. So we'll just select here um, S125, 125 mm uh, shell we want to provide. And this one uh, we'll just do point 0.125. Point one two five M twenty five and reinforcement with two layers. Like let's give default material rebar material is fifty five fifty. Okay, and then these things are click on. Okay, so click on okay to save this, and you have here draw poly area. Here you have quick draw area. So when you click on quick draw area, this window pops up. So here you can change this. Okay. So in the practical structure, when you have where you have uh, you know staircases, don't assign the uh, you know your slabs. So you can simply click for the slabs here. So once the slabs are done, just click on escape, and after you click on escape, I uh, go to select, select. By properties, area sections, select the slab, select, and then close, and then you can copy this, right? So you can go to edit, copy, sorry, not copy, just let's click replicate. Replicate in the y direction, the spacing is three. And if there are more flows, then we, we could have done this one, two, three, four, like, but, but there is only one flow above, so just click on apply. Okay, sorry, I have done the wrong thing. Actually, it is in the Z direction. Uh, the you know the elevation is in the Z direction. So I'll just close this and press Control plus Z. We'll come back, and we'll go to select again, select uh, properties, and then we'll go here area sections as one twenty five. Select this, and then close, and then edit, and go to replicate, and then the Z direction go to three and click on apply so this is done if you want to see this better you can just go to uh, display uh, and uh, you can just set the display options right so go to view and set display options general options and if you just click on extrude and click on apply you see the extruded view here okay so you can do that so now let's go and define some Loads okay. Section properties have been defined. There is mass source will define after defining the loads. Okay. Dead. Dead load is already there. And for other dead loads like floor finish, wall load, we'll just do other dead. And this will include everything. Definitely self weight will not be included because this is other dead load. Add new load pattern. And then obviously we'll do live and then click here, live here, and add new load pattern. And then obviously we'll do EQ X in X direction. Then we'll do you know, quick and we'll add the Indian code for that. Quick, add new load pattern. And in the, this is in this case in the Y direction, Y, add new load pattern. So here, modify this and we'll, this is the X direction, no problem in that. And then uh, you can uh, calculate the time period based on the IS code which I had shown, but I'll uh, just ignore this. And this position five is for the this this all these parameters are for the earthquake zone five. This is also for the earthquake zone five. And importance factor one is for normal residential buildings and one point two, and then we have one point five. So we take one. This is okay. So all these parameters I have discussed earlier. Uh, again, in the detail I will discuss uh, later. But for now we can take the this default parameter for zone five. So click on okay. And then in the Y direction, and modify lateral load, just to Y, and then click on OK. Uh, so these things have been done, and then click on OK here once again, and then go to define, and we'll define the mass source now. So just modify this mass source. Uh, you know, just element shell mass and additional mass will ignore the specify load patterns. So dead load will add, and other dead also will add, and live load for this will be two. So will take a factor of 0.25 as per the code, as code, okay. So again, in detail, I'll discuss later, uh, okay. 
So just uh, add this as per our uh, you know seismic design code, and then so these things are uh, taken into consideration. Once these things are taken, this these things as per our code, we need to include the dead load and a percentage of the live load. So this already we have taken uh, accordingly. Click on OK. Click on OK. So this has been done, and after this has been done, we'll go to load combinations. Load combinations. Add new combo or we can just add default combos. So for now, just let's add default combos, complete frame design, okay? We can, we can edit this and uh, check, okay? So click on okay. Now we'll add, add the loads. So first of all, let's go to the bottommost plane, okay? And select the frames, okay? So select this window, this 1.9 and this is zero. So we'll go here. First of all, I selected this and then we go above and select this. So these two floors I have selected, these two floor beams I have selected and click on go to assign, assign frame loads, go to distributed. And here just we'll do 14, we'll apply 14 loads. Uh, and then the gravity direction, click on. This is in the other dead, okay. This will be in the other dead, okay. In the gravity direction, click on apply. Okay, click on okay. Again, we'll just go to the top floors, to the topmost floor. Just do this X, Y again, so that. So we need to turn back to this view as X, Y, okay. So, font shape, okay. So now it's back. So on the font shape, you click, then it will be back. So to the default view. So then we'll go to the topmost floor. This is our topmost floor. So in topmost floor, we have my parapet one load along the perimeter, okay. So here, the perimeter has been selected. Now we'll go to assign and assign the frame loads. Frame loads distributed and for the parapet wall, we'll apply a load of three. And this will be in other dead. Click on apply, click on open. The last other dead load which we'll add is the four finished load. So for that, we'll go to just click on escape first and go to select and select by properties by area sections. And this will select. And in this, we'll apply a load. Okay. Now assign, assign frame loads, frame loads, sorry, not frame loads, it will be area loads area loads and in the area loads we will apply uniform and uniform here it will be a uniform load of 0.5 so 0.5 will add as a other dead load and as a pure finish load so click on apply and click on okay so again we'll select this select select uh, grad previous selection and now we'll apply the live load of two kilonewton per meter square so go to assign assign area loads uniform shell and this time it will be live and this time it will be two click on apply click on okay so uh, this is done now once this is done so we applied a dead load we applied a live load and the earthquake uh, you know we have defined in the mass load so it will be applied automatically now once we have done this we'll simply go to uh, design and sorry analyze and we'll just click on uh, run analysis so it will give you the load cases to learn run run here okay so these are the selected load cases uh, which you can run and then we can just click on run just save the model and then save the model and then we can run the analysis so it will take some time for the analysis so we can see the deformed shape here so for now let's uh, just click on this uh, view here we don't want the uh you know we'll set display options we don't want the extrude for now the search the standard okay apply and click on okay so that gives better for the analysis results so now we'll see the results one by one first of all uh so we'll go to show forces joints and we'll name we'll go tabulated for anything you can just simply see so let for any load formation, click on apply and you can see the tabulated version of the courses. So mainly for the design, we'll need the uh, courses in the Z direction and then the two movements of okay, M1 and M2. So we'll need that for the, you know, for foundation design. So we can create a default load formation or a manual load formation for only uh, about the, for the 
dead and live load and then you can design the foundation from there okay so then what are the other things which we can check here is the uh, we can check the shear force and bending moment so for that go to frames and here for the shear force go to shear to click on apply and you can see the shear force okay shear force here if you want value just click on show values click on apply so the values will be there so if you want to uh, let's say just have a different view kind of view uh, just to check it better so you can just click switch to exit and you can see the exact values properly right if you right click it will show everything actually shear force bending moment uh, and the deflection diagram and then for the moment just click on apply and you see the bending moment so like this you can see the bending moment and shear force uh, in this so once you've done that uh, you can just go to this uh, concrete design options and you can just refine the preferences make this uh, as per your country code okay uh, we will do here indian and then uh, click on okay and then again we'll just come back to check whether this is uh, as per the indian or not now so this is changed click on okay so it good here and now uh, we'll start design and checking of structures okay so we'll just click this and the design will be started. So if you just do this, you need to kill Newton mm, then it will be better for us to you know observe. So how to understand this? So suppose the we know that the for the 16 mm bar, the bar diameter is 200. That is 5 by 4 into 16 square root 2 it is 200. So if you for if you apply for this particular column, you can say 12 1 to 8 0. So if you do 1 to 8 0 divided by uh, 200, it will be six point something okay so if you provide like a uh, six bars of uh, 16 mm and two bars of 12 mm then it will be sufficient so like this you can calculate similarly there is also for this uh, you know uh, other portions as well if you, uh, if you just for the extra top and main reinforcement if it satisfy 581 then it's okay okay or you can if you want to simplify this you can just take this pan and see what is the maximum reinforcement suppose the maximum reinforcement in this pan is 596 okay okay so for 596 uh, mm uh, mm square so we can provide the uh, reinforcement here so like this you can uh, provide the reinforcement in the beam and in the column as well so in the top for the beam that uh, numericals written in the top are for the top top uh, reverse and the, for the bottom this is for the bottom reverse so this is the ht required in mm square so like this you can simply find the ht required so uh, this is all for the design and we'll go deeper into this and we'll go do some more checks and response spectrum and all but this is there these are the very basics which you need to know for you know the design of a building in sap 2000 hope this video helped keep learning bye bye